Hi guys, Home Appliances Advisor presents 5S or 6S technique. 5S or 6S denotes six key steps in process improvement: seri, seto, siso, seketsu, shitsuke, and safety. The steps I explained. Sort seri. The first step in 5S or 6S improvement process is to sort out the workplace and identify necessary and unnecessary items. The idea is to have a workplace where all the necessary items are readily available for efficient working. The unnecessary items are either disposed of or kept off site for future use. The sort step may not be limited to just clearing the space of clutter, but it could be considered in a wider context to sort from a 4M perspective i.e., man, machine, method and material. Straight in, seto, this second step in the process is putting, sequencing, organizing and arranging the necessary items in a manner that makes them easy to use them, thus adding to the overall efficiency of the workplace. Shine or scrub, seeso, the third step is a cleansing step where the workplace is thoroughly cleaned of debris, hindrances, stains, spots and roadblocks. The idea is to avoid injuries, and to create products or work outputs that do not get stained from the uncleanness of the environment. Standardize, systemize, seiketsu, the fourth step involves developing processes to systematize the operation of the first three steps, sort, straighten and shine. The idea here is to inculcate the first three steps processes in people's habits and work routines. This is to avoid people partially or fully forgetting to do the earlier step, s, and engaging in old habits of inefficient working. Sustain, Shitsuke, the fifth step is to sustain the new work processes and systems as enshrined in the first three steps and reap the benefits of overall work efficiencies. This step is about continuously doing good things and letting the routines become mature and ingrained in day-to-day -day project work. Safety, in recent time, safety has been added as the sixth S in the 6S model. The addition of this new S is fitting and a needed extension. This step involves ensuring that the operationalization of work and the work environment meet required safety standards. Thank you for watching video please like, subscribe, comments and share. Prepared by Mohan Chandra Papa.